Let's see in the next few minutes how to create different kinds of single shot rakes. There are two common types of synth shot racks you find off and out in the fields. One of them is a single shot rack with fully adjustable tube angles like it is shown here. The definition of this kind of rack is very easy. Just click racks. Then create rack. As rack type you should specify single shot rack, fully adjustable tube angles. Then you should specify the number of rows. In this example, we have 7 rows with 3 tubes each. In most cases these racks could held shots in any size. So the resulting definition would be like the following. Important is, that these type of racks will only be used, if the effect type is singe underscore shot. If it is mine or comet, the rack will not be used. A good tip for this racks is also to add the angle to the sort criteria, to make sure that angles to right and left will be near together. Another common type is the one that is shown now, that is often called pyrolama, even if it is in reproduction or a clone. It can also hold variable size tubes, but this time the number tubes can also be limited by the length of the rack, because they are no fixed tubes in this kind of rack. Bigger tubes take up more space than smaller tubes, so the amount of racks depend on the size of the single shots. When we define such kind of rack, Finale can take into account a rack length constraint when determining how many racks are required for such a show. To set up a rack length constraint, do racks create rack and configure the rack with as mortar type single shot with fixed two bangles. Now you have to specify the number of rows you have in the pre build rack. The number of rows is the number of profiles you used for the racks. Then you can set the maximum usable length pre-row. The usable length is consumed by the tubes assigned to the row according to their size. Obviously the outer diameter is the right measure of space taken by the tube, but the size the effect in the tube, which is typically closer to the inner diameter of the tube, is the measure used for the calculation so you may wish to make the length limit slightly smaller than the actual row length in order to compensate for the difference and any other buffer space you want to allow between the tubes. So, if your profiles have a length of 220 mm, it is good to specify the length for with only 200 mm. When you come to the row definition you also specify the maximum number of tubes and you specify a size of any. The tilt angle you give is guilty for the complete row. I define a rack with 5 profiles here, the angelus are max 30 degrees to both sides. To show you the constraints, I prepared a short test for you, the first cues have 9 shots with 20 millimeters all at minus 30 degree. Second cue is 4 times 60 mm mines with 0 degrees. Third cue is a mix of 230 mm and 250 mm single shots all at 30 degrees. As a reminder, is set the maximum length to 200 mm and a maximum number of 8 tubes. The first cues have 9 shots with 20 mm all at minus 30 degree. In the row with the angle of minus 30 degrees you see only 8 single shots of 20 millimeters. There would be space for another one, but the number of tubes is the limit here, so Finale needs another rack to place the non-fitting 20 millimeters single shot. There are 4 60 millimeters single shots in the show with 0 degrees, but on L3 are placed on the rack, because size is the limit for this row. The, 30 degree is filled with different sizes. No constraint was used here, because all 4 shots fits fine. Also remember here, only effects of type single shots will fit here in this rack.